Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today we starting uh, a special series. We starting a series, the series that talk about uh, JavaScript fundamentals. It will help you to understand how JavaScript works, basically. These types of problems that test um, the functionality of how JavaScript works become so popular in Google and Amazon and Apple also. So I guess it will be um, a great series for you, any, any, any developer that use JavaScript as its mainly language to, <coughs> sorry, to, to succeed in these type of interviews. So this problem called create hello world function, it's been asked by Google and Amazon. The, the problem says write a function called create hello world. It should return a new function that always returns hello world. So, okay. So we have an example, we have imp inputs args and we talk about what its args is actually. The output should be hello world, the explanation that the function when, you, when we call this function, the function returns hello world. So coming to my mind right now, we have to deal with two things. First of all, something called a higher order function and another one is a closure closure yeah i guess it's like that this is i mean two things that we use to um to solve this problem but before solving this problem in order to talk about higher order function and closures because it's a fundamental video so i'll just try to talk before about the actual functions so as I said, this question is intended as an introduction to the, the JavaScript functions and how functions behave in JavaScript. So um, let's just start on the functions and how the function syntax look like and uh, what are types of functions we have. So uh, in JavaScript, we have mainly two ways of um, to have a function. We have a functional dec uh, declaration, which for example, I have, I have like, um, function called example and it make me take something and it like here oh, sorry and this here it do something this is called um, a function declaration and in this in this example, we have um, a function that called um, example, and uh, in uh, example is the name of the actual function. Uh, we have is, and this are the arguments, and we write this, and we write we can write function any logic in the body, or, and finally return a results if we need to return results. The other type of functions that we create something called anonymous function. So let's just say let example it will equals function and um, the anonymous function you we um, you can optimally ex uh, exclude uh, this function we can assign it to a variable and um, and yeah this is our anonymous function and we have something different called the immediate invoked function and the immediate invoked function it's an anonymous function but basically it wraps okay let me because like it wraps in and this is example okay so in the immediate invoked function um, and it's like um, also called the immediate invoked function expression or IIFE we can create a function and immediate execute in JavaScript. So this function will be executed immediately. So we can cancel log the results, for example, the results will be, for example, if we have this function, we have like cost const sum equals s plus two, and we return sum. So whenever we cancel our log example, or we cancel the log example, you will find that you get, um, let's let's console log so if we console log example 
and we give it um, two for example so two plus three it will we expect to have seven and uh, some of you could ask why we use the immediate invoke function what what is important for so um the immediate invoke function it gives you the opportunity to encapsulate um, a variable within a new scope for example another developer can immediately see that some can be x used anywhere outside of this of this function's scope so um right now we talk about what are the functions and how the, the, the two main ways that we can write these functions in so let's talk about the high order functions or the function with the function and or the function that called function so this is basically a higher order function it's a function that called another function so it is a power feature of javascript you can actually create function within other functions and even return them if you want so we have this an example we can return also and this function will be return um hello world for example so it is a power powerful thing actually and the higher order function is just a function that return another function um, we have something called a function hoisting and in JavaScript um, there is a feature called um, a function hoisting and what is hoisting the hoisting and this is basically it's assigned only onto this way of declaring a function and that have function arrow function doesn't have this one so um, a function hoisting it's basically um, all of the variables the relations has been hoisted to the top of their scope so for example if we have let uh, let s the equals and we didn't get anything to s like null for example or we didn't get let s anything and we cancel the log s oh it's if we did let it will equals uh, error and i will talk why it equals error and i return s uh, for example and maybe s equals f uh, 3 and try to cancel log s s will be null i'm not getting any error because the functions declaration or for example if i cancel log s and s i cancel the log s before the line that been is being declared i will get uh, null or like undefined so because the functional declaration have been hoisted to the top of the scope so it looks actually it looks like this var s it doesn't exactly like this but you can think about it like that of course if we did let it will be um, an error because we have something called a temporary dead zone for let and const which means that we can't access um, any of s and uh, uh, we can't access s before the line that being declared so um, the JavaScript has a feature that called hoisting that we called about where a function can sometimes be used before it's initialized. You can only do this if you declared function with the function syntax. So if we have basically there's something to you to, to, to know is that the functions in JavaScript are being treated as variables so you can return them you can put pass them as an argument you can like they are exactly like a variable so if we have um, this hello create hello world one and I have const um, uh, s and this is equals uh, function and this function here and I'm returning s so this is not this will not be a bug because let's call it var or let just let's talk of function declaration so yeah this way this way it will work so the, the uh, in javascript has, has a feature that we co we told about that called hoisting where a function can be sometimes be used before it's initialized uh, you can only use this uh, declare function with the, uh, a function syntax it's important to know this um so if we did like that and this function had something that returned uh, hello world and you call it you, you will find hello world and let's talk about next which is the closures so 
An important topic in JavaScript is a concept called uh, closures. And for example, if we have this S, uh, uh, let's say that we have a variable called let uh, x equals two, and we're trying to console.log x, there is some way that x will we will find the value of th 33. But how can we do that? How can this function know what or what um, what the bigger function has? What is the the the, 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 the wrapper function has? So basically, there is something called a closure, and it acts as like this function acts as the scope of the outer function. So the fu the the um, uh, so the closure is a combination of the function and its uh, environment is called a closure so when a function is created it has access to a reference to all variables declared around it also known as its lexical environment the combination of the function and its environment is called a closure this is a powerful and often used feature in the language it's it's used a lot so let's take an example I, I was i showed you the um, the example so let's just say again let's just do, read this also let's say we have a and what is this a okay let's just delete this one we have a and we have b and we have x and if i said return x plus a plus b this in inner function have access to all of its lexical environment and it has access to the outer function environment it has also the access to the the arguments of this function so um the other thing that we took want to talk about is something called the arrow function and just to go back because i don't want to mess anything up so the other thing that i want to talk about is the arrow function so the arrow function will be like const uh, example will equals something like that. I guess uh, I'm sure that you are familiar with this one. And the the the, the other common way of declare a function is using the arrow the, the the arrow function or the arrow syntax. In fact, what on many projects. You, uh, specifically in React and Vue.js, if you're a front-end developer, you find that we use this one too much. So um, the difference between um, the, 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 let's just create another one. Let's call it function two. Let's just delete all of that. And let's just have function. So the difference between these two types of functions, we have three main difference, like um, more minimalistic syntax. This is especially true for anonymous function and uh, single line functions. It, it looks quite cleaner, okay? For this reason, this way is generally preferred when, it, when it passing a short anonymous function to other functions. So for example, just we can, just it can be one line, like we can return an array and that's it that's it. it will work like that um no automatic hoisting you are only allowed to use the function after it was declared you we you can't use automatic hoisting with this one uh, this is a general con uh, considered a good high th a good thing for readability or readability can't be bounded to this so we have we we can't use super and arguments or this keyword or be used as a constructor these are complex topic in themselves and i will guess i will talk about them in the future and also uh, you can read more about this one in, in the in, in 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 some other articles i guess i will link them so um we have the rest arguments and you can use rest syntax to um which is this one this is called the rest argument so basically um you you can use rest syntax to access all the past arguments as an array this isn't an array but it's like an array this is, isn't necessarily uh, 
for this problem it's not necessary at all for this problem but for you to know okay but it will be a critical concept for many problems in the future and you can read more about it if you want of course so um let's talk about why um, it it may not be immediately obvious why you would use this syntax because you, because you can always just pass an argument and get the same result. I'm talking about this one, okay? Um, um, the primary use case for for uh, creating a generic vector function that uh, accepts any function as an input and return a new version of the function with the same function modifications by the way the function that uh, accepts uh, a function and or returns a function is called a higher order function i said this multiple times but just to be clear again and they are very common in javascript so uh, sorry i wasn't talking about the orgs i was talking about this this sorry for that so for example, if we, uh, um, for example, we have this one. We have a function that returns the other function, and it's used a lot in JavaScript. Specifically, if you work with React, you find something called a higher order component. It's the component that returns another component. So let's just talk about solution for the problems. We have three specific solutions. We have one with the function syntax, which is this one, this one. The other one we have the arrow syntax and it will look way more cleaner return um oh sorry just one line it look way more cleaner i have this one and we have the orgs syntax which is Basically, the function syntax was with no args and the args syntax, but I don't think that much about the args. We will talk about the args. What are they? We'll talk about them deep in the future. Just don't, 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 just um, don't think about this one. So this is the three ways that we can solve the problems. There are three main thing, things that we talked about. Closures, and we talked about the closure. It's just a combination between the two environment, which is the inner function have the access to the outer functions uh, variables and have in and, and its lexical scope and it has also um and has also um, uh, an access to its only uh, its own uh, variables we talked about the higher order function and the higher order function is just the function that return other function we talked about how we um uh, what are the different way of creating an actual function and we talked about the immediate info function. We talked about the function declaration. We talked about the syntax function and the arrow functions. And we talked about what are the different things between them and different things between the arrow functions and, and uh, functions declaration of function expressions is that um, um, the, the arrow functions it can be hoisted. Can, we can use the hoisting thing with it. It's give it a good re readability. Also, it doesn't have this keyword. It doesn't have super. It doesn't can be used as a constructor. And we can read about that in the future. Uh, but mainly we talk about the, cl the closure and higher order function. And we talk about how functions works. So we understand what we are doing. So that's it for this video. If you like my content, make sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell and subscribe. So you'll never miss a video. And um, if you think my, 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 my declaration wasn't that good, feel free to give me a comment about what you didn't like specifically so I can improve my content. So that's it for this video and see you in future problems.